Wow, there's no easy way to put this. Um, I was just shocked when I heard this this morning, as I'm sure you all were, especially you uh, Ranger and Capital fans. Um, Henrik Lundqvist um, is out for the season, according um, to his doctors uh, who have advised him after weeks of testing. He has some sort of heart condition, and they say it's best he not play. Uh, so... He's 38 years old right now. He'll be 39 in March. Um, he signed for one season with uh, the Capitals at $1.5 million. Um, it would have been a nice, you know, uh, tandem with Samsonov, um, their up-and-coming goaltender uh, in Washington, to have him as sort of a mentor. Uh, and, I mean, who wasn't looking forward to, you know, seeing, uh, you know, Washington um, play uh, the Rangers in New York, you know, w with Lungfist in that. That would have been something, huh? But, you know, health first. I really hope the best for the guy and hope he recovers. You can't help but think, though, at this age, he'll be 39 for next season if he does figure this condition out. Can he make a comeback at that age after missing a season? I don't know. We don't. We don't. We don't know how serious it is. I mean, it obviously is serious enough that he, he's not going to play for the season. But you know what I mean. Um, well, I hope he gets better. You know, health and safety first. So um, here's to hoping the King um, does come back, and we haven't seen the last of him. Now, when it comes to Washington and what they do now, well. I guess Copley is is the next guy up, but um, maybe the Capitals look at um, the goaltending market, see who's left here. Uh, I mean, there's names that we can throw out like Schneider, Anderson, Howard, Condon, um, and there's Miller. He might be the best situation. Um, now, Miller is 39. He's uh, actually older than Lundqvist at the moment, but he did have a 907 uh, playing with the Ducks last season in, um, in 23 games, and he was 9-6. He was and six. So on a better team, makes you wonder. Uh, you could probably get him for around the same price. Uh, I'm sure the Capitals are looking at that right now. Maybe they've even contacted him already, or one of those players. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, the next part of news, this is a hard way to segue, but uh, is Alexander Steen has retired, um, which is a shame. He's had some back issues, and he's decided to call it quits. We kind of all saw this coming, didn't we? Um, he's had some issues over the years uh, with his back. Uh, and so forth. So um, he's been with the Blues for like 12 seasons. He's played in the NHL for like 15. He was originally drafted by the Toronto Maple Leafs, who foolhardishly traded <laughs> traded him back in when was it 2009 or something. In any case, um, he's 36 years old. So and he's seen over a thousand games. Um, he was only limited to 55 games last season, and he was playing a lot of fourth-line duty. Um, yeah, he played 1,018 games. Quite a career still. So, yeah, so he was uh, acquired from Toronto back in the 2008-09 season, and he was a 24th overall pick, um, registering uh, 622 points overall. Of course, now he has a Stanley Cup uh, to his name, so that's not a bad way to retire, right? Um, now, the Blues are, are going to put him on LTIR because um, they've passed the point where um, they can buy out his contract. So now they've got about $5.75 million uh, in cap space. Um, he was signed for one more season, if I haven't mentioned that already. So what do they use that for? Do they just sit on it and wait to see how the season goes? Or do they tweak a few things. I mean, they could probably use a more experienced backup goaltender for Bennington at this moment and, uh, you know, look at one of the names I've already mentioned. Maybe they can grab one of those guys for around uh, a million bucks or so. Um, also, although their defense has become more mobile um, and offensive um, 
with you know especially with Krug in the lineup now uh, defensively one might say they've could have taken a bit of a step back so might they do something about that um, may, may might they add some more offense to their to their forward group um, we'll see uh, I would love to hear um, from you uh, Washington fans about uh, who you think um, how shocked you were at this news to begin with and who you think they might use to replace Henrik um, in the in that backup role and for you blues fans um, ditto what do you think you know the st. Louis is going to do with that extra cash um, that cap space if they're going to hold on and wait and see or if they're going to you know at least go and get up another more experienced backup to start and then maybe as the season goes by think about who that who else they might be able to add maybe a player like Hoffman um, might help their power play even more um, however, we all know his uh, defensive deficiencies that he has in his game. Uh, in any case, yeah, um, please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please be kind to each other out there in this crazy world we're living in right now. Um, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.